So this is a five year old girl with seizures since two years of age. The seizure semiology was one generalized tonic clonic seizures associated with fever. The duration was two to three minutes. The frequency was once every six months till five years of age. And there was a vacant stare, vacant stare, cessation of ongoing activity, followed by rubbing of hands and occasionally chewing movement. Child stays confused and irritable after the episodes for about 15 to 20 seconds. The child has hyperactivity, aggression and uh, the duration was for last six months for all these behavioral issues. The developmental milestones were age appropriate and there was no history of seizures or intellectual disability in the family. On examination, there was no dysmorphism or neurocutaneous marker. OFC was okay, hyperactivity was there, there was poor attention span and recall. The tone, power, reflexes and sensory symptoms were all known. There were no cerebellar signs. There were no cerebellar signs. So now we look at the video of the child. We see the video of the child. We can see that the episode begins with a vacant stare, an expressionless face, purposeless rubbing of hand and a gesture which appears as though she is approaching an object. At the end, her facial expression returns and she smiles. So her onset is focal with impaired awareness. So it is a non-motor impairment of responsiveness and manual automatisms. So if we see it's a facial uh, that what we can see from the child's uh, video is a focal onset and it has uh, impaired awareness, automatisms and behavioral arrest. Automatism is a coordinative repetitive motor activity which resembles a voluntary movement but undertaken without volition. It's associated with seizures with impaired awareness as well as in aware states. You may have additional descriptors like orofacial, manual, pedal, perseverative, vocal, verbal, sexual and others. The second case is a 9 year old boy who had seizures for the past 1 year. The semiology was clonic movement of right half of the face and the duration was 30 to 40 seconds. There was pain in the right half of facial muscles after the episode and he was aware of the event. Developmental milestones were age appropriate and the family history was positive that there was childhood onset epilepsy in father which was generalized tonic clonic in nature. There was no dysmorphism, no neurocutaneous markers and CNS examination was essentially within normal limits. The child's uh, examination was essentially normal. Now looking at the video. In this video, we can see that the episode is characterized by forceful head and eye deviation to the right along with clonic movements of bilateral eyelids and forehead muscles. Child is aware during this episode. He tries to speak but is unable to verbalize clearly. So here the onset is focal motor but child's awareness about the event is preserved. So he's focal, aware, motor, clonic. So now putting it into the classification, the child had focal onset, he was aware and clonic was the most po uh, prominent feature. In the contrast to the previous video, if we look at this, it shows a right focal clonic seizures with impaired awareness. Besides face, hair, the right arm and leg are also involved. There is intermittent upward rolling of eyeball and child is not aware of the event and the episode is prolonged. So it's focal with impaired awareness, motor, clonic. So putting in the chart, so it is focal onset with impaired awareness and the most prominent feature is clonic. So focal clonic seizures are the movements uh, which are there, uh, involves the sustained rhythmic jerking. This may involve a distal limb, one limb or one side of the body. The jerking may spread to involve parts of the body according to the representation on the motor cortex, according to the homunculus. This is known as the Jacksonian march. A focal hemiclonic seizure is where the sustained rhythmic jerking rapidly involves one side of the body at seizure onset is an important seizure type uh, to recognize as it is a seizure type that is seen classically in certain epilepsy syndromes like Dravet syndrome and some self-limited neonatal seizure.